Slow Morris on Morning Talk Radio. It's your favorite morning host show. Banana eating, Adam Josh. Good morning, everyone. And welcome. Welcome back to the Morning Banana Show. We are at number 52. We're listening to some copyright-free metal music because that's the level we're at these days with uh, YouTube. Checking the live streams real quick. And we are right side up, which is important. So let's get into it. Uh, we're at Morning Banana number 52. I have a scheduled Twitter follower here that I'm going to call. An unscheduled Twitter follower. He doesn't know that I'm going to call him. I mean, I sent him a message, but we'll see. A fellow flat earther. If the answer is the answer, if not, hey, that's cool too. I picked up a set of instructions for the black goo rust proofing that I've been doing. I had my first complaint the other day that there was some overspray on a white truck. You don't say. So up until now, I've been told not to uh, wash them because that would, of course, be a whole other issue. And uh, try as I may to not make any overspray. It's a messy job. So, some uh, instructions there on how to avoid that in the future. So, we're at uh, Morning Banana Show number 52. Can you guys believe we've been doing this for 52 episodes now? Uh... What else is new? What can I tell you about? Uh, huh. Oh, yeah, that. So, I guess I could talk a little bit about uh, this ring here. You know, Desiree and I have been together for almost five years. And I gave her a really nice promise ring, one that she wanted, you guys. Some of you on Twitter might have already seen it. If you follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com. And, uh, you know, Daisy Ray and I don't really have anything to hide from the public aside from our home address where our kids go to school, the usual stuff. So we are a pretty, pretty open book. Um, I got her the ring that she wanted to wear as a promise ring, uh, with the intention that, uh, you know, I'm giving this to you uh, and I would like to get married, but how do you want to do things? Do you want to buy a house first? Do you want to get married first? Because both are going to be kind of costly, and uh, she's been married before and I've been married before. And not, both of us did the uh, the going to the chapel and we're going to get married routine. Uh, going to the, you know, get the paperwork done, small wedding type thing. And uh, both of us have been down that road and both of us uh, aren't really interested in doing that particular style of wedding again. So uh, I gave her a ring over a year and a half ago and I said uh, well she was in New Brunswick and I said look uh, I want to give you this ring as a promise that you know I want to marry you so you can say it's a kind of a proposal to propose I'm going to propose one day uh, but uh, here's another thing because we've both been married it's a little bit different I'm telling you about the inner workings of mine and Desiree's relationship which is really none of your business but um, the inner workings are that uh, neither of us want to be indefinitely engaged. Do you know how people get engaged and then you check in with them a year later and they're still engaged? Oh, I'm engaged. Oh, yeah, when's the wedding? Oh, no, no, we're just engaged. So we don't want to, I don't want to do that. To me, an engagement means, okay, so we're going to get married on the 24th of this day and uh, this is the month, that's the time. Okay, so we've made a date. That's an engagement. So when are you going to get married? Oh, we have it right here on the calendar. It's an, We have it in writing. So I don't have that in writing. It's a nice idea to say, well, let's get married in 2020. But I don't have anything written down in writing. So for that reason, I don't consider myself engaged. But uh, I gave a ring to Desiree saying, that, oh, I, want to, I wanted to marry you one day. I didn't get down on my knee. I wasn't even there. I wasn't in the province. Uh, so up until now, a year and a half later... I haven't been wearing a ring for many different reasons. Uh, one of them is that as a guy who works with his hands, I can't, it's hard for me to wear rings, so I've never been able to wear rings. 
I've tried. So I shopped around just like she did for a ring that I could wear and I came up with this ring. Now it looks pretty um, badass, I know that. And it's actually a branded ring, it has a brand name and I'm not trying to uh, promote them because they don't have, I don't have, they're not sponsoring me, but it's a size 9 Qualo ring, Qualo, Q-A-L-O. And it's specifically for guys like me. And it's not an expensive ring, so if you're thinking that it's an expensive ring, it's not. And it's made of a really hard rubber, so it's not uh, going to make dingy noises or arc on electricity. So it's perfect for a guy like me. And I'm on day two of wearing it. So I said to Desiree the other day, you know what? I don't think that I put out uh, a message of, you know, come at me ladies. Uh, but I want to just re-emphasize that to people that um, I've had some random people messaging me on Twitter and uh, it's irritating me. Being out of town irritates me when I'm in Brantford, you know. People are like, oh, are you married? Where's your girlfriend? Your like, stuff like that bugs me. Um, I'm raising two kids. One is eight, one is six. And uh, I've been their dad since they were, like, in diapers with binkies in their mouth. So. To hear, to hear, where's your family, where's your kids, are you married? Like, it start, started to irritate me this last little while. So I said to Desiree, you know, I know that we're not married. I know that we're not engaged. But uh, that is the plan. We plan to get the house first uh, in the order of things. And so we did that. We're living in the house now for over a year. And uh, I'm ready, I think, to wear your ring. So I had picked this out a long time ago, and I gave it to her. So... She made a big game of getting the ring, so anyway, that's something new. I'm wearing that. I would like to get married to Desiree sometime, maybe in 2020. We'll see. The thing is, the way that she wants to get married and the way I want to get married, it's going to be a little bit costly. So. Ah, oh, coffee. Moving on. Let's skim the headlines. I was, I was looking at this. Um... That major, this is a headline from uh, fastcompany.com, that major Google outage meant some Nest users couldn't unlock the doors or use their AC. If you're a Google user, you might probably notice some trouble last night when trying to access Google-owned services. Last night, Google reported several issues with its cloud platform, which made several Google sites low or inoperable. I've been following technology, where are we really, you know, it's a headline that I use, technology, where are we really, for years, and guys, don't be deceived. This, like, Amazon smart home, Google smart home, you got to stay the hell away from that. The hell away from that. I can't even begin to emphasize, like, get off Facebook. Get out of these Google smart home, Amazon smart home things. You don't want a Nest in your home. You don't want uh, Amazon Alexa things listening to you. It's You don't want cameras everywhere in your home that are accessible to creepy weirdos with Wi-Fi. And guess what? If your power goes off, or if the, uh, like this, if Google's servers or their cloud servers have a uh, outage, you're going to be affected. No crap. The Sun has an article about old people drinking young blood. To infinity and beyond. This is something I've been following for a few years now and it doesn't surprise me. Young blood uh, transfusions. Weird ways billionaires are trying to live forever. And at least, at least, this is from The Sun, an article from The Sun. At least a dozen of the world's richest men have plowed millions into bizarre ways to live forever. Here are the weirdest. Uh, cures for aging, computer chip in your brain, apocalypse insurance, young blood transfusions. While this may seem like something straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster, there are companies out there conducting trials into the effects of blood transfusions. Specifically those between the ages of 16 and 25. So they say, oh, it's between the ages of 16 and 25. I got news for you. Number one, a lot of this blood is not taken consensually. Number two, even if it was, these people are children, uh, probably under 16. 
And this whole concept of vampirism and, and uh, feasting on the blood of uh, young children goes back uh, farther than this article. This is not a new concept, drinking blood of sacrificial people. So, adrenochrome, you know, or EpiPens gone bad turns into adrenochrome. A Kentucky, where was that? A Kentucky pastor sent a message to minors seeking a threesome. A pastor in eastern Kentucky was arrested this week after he allegedly sought sex with a minor via text message. You know, back to the minors. Trump hits back at London mayor arrival on UK. Yeah, 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 whatever. And Trump's new hairdo. Trump's new hairdo, oh my god. He wore a hat. It's really a headline of drugs that Trump wore a hat. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, in other news, uh, the earth is flat. What else can we talk about? Let's call Mr. Cameron. Let's call Mr. Cameron. I'm calling uh, William R. Cameron, at William R. Cameron on Twitter. Maybe he'll answer, maybe he won't. Hello, Mr. Cameron. It's Adam Josh from the Morning Banana Show. You're on number 52 right now. How are you doing, friend? I'm doing good, doing good. How are you? I'm all right. Where are, whereabouts are you? I saw that you were in uh, Darien, or Six Flags in Texas the other day. Yeah, I was in San Antonio. We went for the weekend, me and my lady, because we've been really busy, so we just went out for the weekend and just went out for fun. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I, I'm sorry to just surprise you and call you while I'm filming the Morning Banana Show, but I thought, you know what? We've waited long enough. Today's the day. Here here we are. We're doing it. Cool, 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 man. Hey, um, can we do it another day? I mean, yeah. I'm, I, I'm only saying this because I've got a realtor coming tomorrow yeah. at the house. Yeah, we're all busy. Yeah. We're all busy people. Yeah, yeah. Last week I painted the house blue. Did you see? Uh, yes. Is, was that a house that you're selling? Yes, that's one that we're selling. Anyways, okay. my girlfriend, she hated it. And I was like, oh, man, I spent a whole so paint in the whole house. It's already, and then she hated the color. Oh, no. So anyways, I'm, I'm under the gun now, and I have a whole favorite house to paint, and i got to do it today. Yeah. It's done because the village was coming tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot to do. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, people can follow you on Twitter at William R. Cameron to see all your awesome paint work. And maybe to uh, yeah. even give you a job if, out there in Texas if people who are watching uh, are in that area. Yeah, yeah, man. That'd be great. Like I said, I, and I, uh, I'd love to chat today. I just, I've got something yeah. to do. I'm probably going to be working for eight and nine o'clock. No worries. No hard feelings. You know, it's a quick morning banana show anyway, usually. So, have a great day. Yeah, yeah. And I've got my banana. I didn't eat it. Yeah, I'm eating one right now myself while I'm chatting to you. And enjoy the beautiful, flat, motionless plane today. Well, Every day. Every day. Take care, brother. Bye. That was fun. Calling random Twitter followers and Twitter Twitter people. He's not really random. I, I like William Rodney Cameron. I like that guy. I've been to Texas. There's good people. Good people in Texas. I love Texas. Calling followers today. I'm not going to call anybody else today. But anyway, guys, Morning Banana, number 52. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com. The website is mindballs.org or adamjosh.com. This is a song that I wrote a long time ago called um, A Fresh Globe. 
Thank you so much for watching. I finished my banana. I have to get building a wall. I gotta build a wall today. A metal wall. Take care.